You're not rolling, are you? Dude, people can't see me comb my hair. Says, bald man's comb is the perfect gift for the man that has everything. Except hair. You've got everything. Uh, yeah. Let's just shoot this thing so I get on with my depressing life. All right. Welcome to a work in progress with myself. I am Josh Matuzic, and we've got a great show for you. We've got District Attorney candidate Steve Sessler sitting in with us today, and that's big. That's a big deal. Without any further ado, you can now log off your Facebook and uh, listen to what I've got to say because it's very important. A Lester woman, Mina Hiltz, celebrated her 103rd birthday party last week with friends and family. Interested in her remarkable accomplishment, some sources are looking even deeper into this to see if Hiltz is the oldest resident in Livingston County history. More importantly, I want to know who managed to successfully place 103 birthday candles on a single cake. Now that's talent, people. And, uh, happy birthday, Mina. Four Badavia residents were charged with grand larceny last week after stealing over $1,000 worth of merchandise from Caledonia Amish furniture store, The Giggling Pig. That's, that's horrible. I think I speak for most of Livingston County when I say, Who's giggling now, pigs? Hashtag burn. Twitter reference. In Geneseo News. Nine private owners of 11 Main Street properties will be undergoing major exterior and interior building renovations, all of which are supported by a grant from the New York State Office of Housing and Community Renewal. Sources say the grant will contribute a total investment of well over $300,000 towards the likes of Touch of Grace, Muddy Waters Cafe, and many more. So next week, don't be surprised when you see Bob the Builder walking behind me during the taping of my show. Good friend of Bob's, and he works hard, can I say. In national news, Austrian skydiver Felix Baumgartner set the world record for skydiving at an estimated 128,000 feet at an estimated 834 miles per hour. Baumgartner remarked on his accomplishment, saying, I was born to do this kind of thing. Well, with a name like Felix Baumgartner, it sure sounds like it. This past weekend was the annual Genesee Valley Hunt Races, with spectators and competitors alike coming from all over to participate. From what I hear, everyone had a grand time, and although I couldn't make it, I did watch the movie Black Beauty to fill the horseless hole in my heart. When we come back, Mr. Steve Sessler will be hanging out with us. Please don't go away. Thanks. <laughs> Geneseo Psychopath. Let us fix your bike. Welcome back to a work in progress. Chatting here with me today, Mr. Steve Sessler. How's it going, Steve? Going very well. Good to see you. Hanging Thanks for there. having me. Absolutely. Love to have you. My dad's a big supporter. You I know, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Good man, Bones, over there. Bones, he knows. He yeah. makes a mean pancake. He does make a mean pancake. I've had it. Pancake or two on the uh, <laughs> campaign trail you myself. Wouldn't, you wouldn't think so, though. Oh well, that's kind very, of going to say. Very in shape. You get the the right light, and I'm okay. <laughs> so I want to get it out there. First question: Thoughts on the tie? That's what the people want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Well, I think that the tie was really an amazing thing, considering we each had uh, 1,881 votes. Uh, wherever those votes came from. We're not really sure we can figure that out at this, <laughs> point, at this point in time. But uh, we did tie, uh, and I did see a piece in one of the papers saying um, what the probabilities of that were. and uh, So I think it was very interesting. Right. Um, well, I read but it kind of kind of got us back to right, right, right where we started. Yeah, I so. mean, uh, I read that article as well talking about the statistics, and I'm reading it going, the chance of this happening are like, Next to nothing. <laughs> and, and do you think the way it ended up, was it fair to you, Steve? Uh, well, the voters voted, and so that's going to be as fair as it's going to get. Right. Um, when it gets thrown back to the committee, get, that's an entirely different topic. We can discuss that one if you want to as I well. I want to, Steve, but <laughs> I want to talk about what you want to talk about. So if you're willing to talk about it, let's talk. All right. Well, I figure... Um, you know, the, the Republican Party has, uh, for the longest time in this county, been the number one county, or the number one party in the county. Right, absolutely. 
And so they're holding sway over most of the things uh, that happen in this county and, and have for decades. Yeah, right. Um, my angle is we're looking to uh, have the politicians stop making the decisions for the people in this county. Let's take it out to the citizen voters. Absolutely. So I think that the first difficulty that we had, obviously, was in the Republican Party. Uh, they determined pre-primary that they were going to endorse one of the candidates. And that puts them in a difficult position because now they're going to have a hard time backing down from that preliminary decision that they made. Uh, I'd say, I've said it before, the thing that I would have appreciated the most and I think would have been the, the most fair resolution would have just been said, here's $500 for you, here's $500 for you, the primary is on September 13th and whatever happens, we'll take the winner on the 14th. Absolutely. Um, but that's not what happened. And I think, and I'm not knocking uh, Eric in any way here, but I think that is, from an outsider standpoint, I think that's the best way to deal with it. And I think doing what you, what you mentioned, and I think that you ask a lot of people and I think they would agree. Well, it, it doesn't make any sense for um, any party, any political party, to come out pre-primary and make an endorsement. Why, why are you doing that? Why are you, right. taking, why are you taking the decision away from your very own voter? Uh, and, and so this is the, the, the first kind of misstep down the trail that, that I think took place. Yeah. Uh, the next thing that happens is we go through the primary. Uh, we come out with a tie. Um, so and then from, we get from the start <laughs> of this thing, it's just trickling down. Well, I, I would think so. It, I, well, from my started, perspective, yeah, yeah, it's been going downhill <laughs> fast. But <laughs> and is your family? How's your family doing? Because that's a lot of stress. I yeah. mean, tying God knows how many. Times. Well, it is a lot of stress, and there were some uh, there were some ups and downs, and it, yeah, quite frankly, they they all support me. They all think that it's a good idea, and they all have come to understand that, that this is one of the things in your life that that at least in my life that's real important. Yeah, um, we're trying to to improve this community, improve the community's competence in the criminal justice system. Let everybody know that that the citizens, as I say, do have the right to choose who's going to be the district attorney. It's not. It's Absolutely. Not, it's not anybody at the top of any political party, whether it's the the Democratic political party or the Republican political party. Well, why are we voting if it's if it's just going to go up to a party? You know, if it's a predetermined situation, I don't know why we would vote. But that's not the way that our, the Founding Fathers set up this country. They set it up. They gave you a right to vote. People have fought and died for their right to vote. So let's exercise it. Let's get out. Everybody out there. And we got a new theme. Just came out the other day. It's uh, Be the One. You got be to the be one. the one to make the decision. Right. Be the one to stand up, cast your vote. And we all have figured out right. in the last three weeks how important it really is. It, uh, I mean, although the chances of tying are next to nothing, that's still something we should... Be the one. Yeah, exactly. Be the one. I know I'm the one. Yeah, you, you look like the one. <laughs> Not the one percent, but I am the one. <laughs> so, Steve, it's it's pretty pretty out there now. You're running with the conservative party here for this uh, district attorney's race. Right. A lot of people would call McCaffrey a bit of the front runner, probably because he's already in office. What are you going to do moving forward to make sure you give you set yourself up for the best shot to win? Well, we're going to be. I'm going to be the candidate that is going to be there. Um, so that people can make the decisions themselves. You know, uh, Mr. McCaffrey was put in by the governor, um, and that's absolutely fine because that's what the law provides yeah. uh, in the case of a vacancy. So I'm not fighting the law. Uh, I'm just saying he wasn't chosen by the voters in Livingston County. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Sheener wasn't even chosen by the Republican voters in Livingston County. I mean, you can say what you can say, but the bottom line is we came out of there in a dead draw. Yeah. So uh, nobody won, nobody lost. Yeah. But we're prepared now. We are going to go forward with our campaign, and, and we've got the machine in place to do it. We've got the volunteers in place to do it. We've got the participation in place to do it. Got the social media in place to do it. We're going to go forward. We just yeah. put, put a new put a new uh, message out in our uh, video in our Facebook today. Uh, a lot of new videography going out. And that's uh, Sessler for DA uh, dot com, right? Right. So, that's okay. where it is. And now yeah. I want to switch things up here a little bit more of the personal life. Absolutely. Ex Marine, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, Marine. That's Marine. Right. Wow. You right. know, you won't yeah. find me in the armed forces, <laughs> obviously, but we could get you there. Maybe I think you. I think you got. Maybe the right we should attitude. start a new. Yeah, maybe we should right. start a new we training could start, program. Yeah, 
Yeah, I hear Josh Williams, he's good at that training. We maybe yeah. he could be your mentor sort of. Yeah. You get him to do something for you. Yeah. Jo speaking of Josh, we were chatting earlier. We want to know about your drill sergeant. Do you remember? Do you I want to hear about I, your I days had a, as a well, <laughs> It was very interesting. It was in uh, the summer of 88. We can summer start the 88. summer of 88, 1988. So Where I were you in 88? I was uh, negative four. Okay, negative very four years good. old. Uh, summer in 1988, I was uh, in Washington and Lee University School of Law, and I decided that I was going to uh, go to the Officer Candidate Program. I did that. I went to uh, Officer Candidate School for 10 weeks at Quantico, Virginia. It was a very interesting experience. We started out with a platoon of about uh, 60 people and graduated ultimately 32. Um, so there was a high attrition rate, but at that point in time uh, I was um, uh, commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps. Went back and finished my third year at, Big deal. at law school. Big yeah, deal. Well, it was uh, something uh, of which I was very proud um, and still am. Right. I think that um, you know, there are only a few things in in your life that you that you go back and think about, and and uh, that decision was a very important decision in my life. This decision that I made to run for district attorney is is a substantially similar situation. So, well, regardless of what happens, you've made history. Well, yeah, I, w I wouldn't like so much to have made history. I'd like to be the next district attorney. That would be a right. Really, that would really, be that, that would be, be a the, bonus. <laughs> that would be, be the a bonus. bonus. Yeah, I <laughs> guess that would. <laughs> But that remains the goal, but I think every once in a while there's going to come along in your life something that you just absolutely feel that you have to do. Right. And damn the consequences, whatever it is, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do it. You're going to uh, chase it. That was, that was the situation when I um, joined the United States Marine Corps, and it's the situation when I decided to undertake this race. I saw something that I felt needed to be fixed, mm -hmm. uh, and that I was the right person to fix it. We could put together, and you went for it. Good, put together the campaign and go ahead and do yeah, it. Yeah, totally. So uh, we're about halfway there. Um, we fought him to a fought him to a draw the first round. And I we're know. Ready to go for You're the ready second. Ready to go for round two. Absolutely. I was I was browsing your website the other day, Sussler right. for DA, and I saw the picture of you as a Marine, uh -huh. and I just wanted to mention that just looking at that picture, you could tell that that meant so much to you. You wanted the people to know that you were proud of, of your time served. That's, and I think that that's the same for anybody who's yeah. in, in the uh, armed services. Um, it's it's really a decision that you make to dedicate your life uh, or a period of your life, as the case may be, to a cause that you really believe in. Right. Um, and I think that's that's what you have to do. Yeah. Well, I, one of my buddies just just today left to be a Marine, Alex Kunkel. I wanted to just uh, give him a live congratulations. And what what a coincidence we have a Marine here. That's right. Congratulations, Congra Alex. I hope you have a. Wonderful time. Where's he going to go? Quantico? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I, I'd be well, willing to bet. Wherever he goes, he'll be well taken care of by the United States Marine Corps. They'll teach him everything he needs to know. Primary source right here. <laughs> so, Steve, every week we like to uh, provide our guests with, with a little goodie. A little goodie and I bag. brought nothing for you. I don't See? need anything. I need your presence. That's what I need, I Steve. need your vote. Is, <laughs> is this your vote? <laughs> Do you have any ballots in there? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Armed Force action figure for oh, Steve Sessler. Oh, that is that's outstanding. Cost that's me beautiful. a pretty penny over at uh, Walmart. It looks like you can wind this up. He can crawl. Yeah, he's doing the low crawl. This is this is fantastic. And Thank if you, if you don't that. play with toys, I mean, I know you have daughters. Maybe they'll take it. Maybe your wife will use it. Someone I, will use that. This the, this is going to be heavily used, right? Not for children under three. So I, I'm not sure. <laughs> you're safe. I'll give it to somebody. <laughs> no. And then lastly, you're a big fitness guy. You like your bicycle, right? I do. I love the bike. The the people next door at Cycle Path gave us a shirt because they had heard through the grapevine that Mr. Sessler was a biker. So this is for Fantastic. you, Steve. I will wear the cycle, the cycle path shirt proudly, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thanks for having me Steve, on. Steve, thank you for coming by. I appreciate thank it. And good luck coming thank up here. Is it November? It is November 6th. November 6th. November yeah. Good luck, November 6th. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, we'll be back next week in the Sun Studio with the guests still to be announced. Stay tuned. <laughs>